Elmira College and Elmira Little Theater have partnered to bring us the production of A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, which premieres uh, April 5th next weekend. Um, ladies, I want to talk about this partnership, joined here by two cast members of the show. I want to talk about this partnership, but before then, uh, Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, whoever wants to take the floor, give us a synopsis of this. Well, it starts with a gentleman getting a, a knock on a door by a stranger, which is always a great way to start a story. <laughs> and he finds out that he, as a penniless clerk, is actually in line to uh, collect on the earldom of a nearby castle. The only problem is there are eight other people in line for that earldom. So a little bit of uh, a decision making needed for him <laughs> to decide that whether it's worth knocking off all other the eight relatives before he collects that money and the castle or not. And there in the story kind of rolls from there. Yeah, you guys are two cast members. Uh, Joanna, you're an Elmira College yes. student. Elizabeth, you're from Elmira Little Theater. What has it been like working together, learning from each other, kind of collaborating on this project? It's been a lot of fun. It's a, a wide variety of people from all walks of life, and I really have enjoyed getting to learn from this amazing <laughs> cast. As a college student, it's a, a rare opportunity to branch outside our campus, so I'm enjoying it. Yeah, Elizabeth, anything you're learning from our college students here? Or? Oh, absolutely. Just, you know, the, the beginning of what is theater. So I've been doing it for about 30, oh, 30 plus odd years for Elmira Little Theater. But when somebody like Joanna comes on set and it's just they've got this energy to them and this excitement to them, and it just it makes a real good community cast for that very reason. So we've got people who are more experienced with being on stage and people who aren't experienced with being on stage, and we just pull the whole production together. And it's, it's a great community show, and it speaks a lot for just that joint kind of uh, en en engagement, really. Yeah, Joanna, wh what has it been like being a part of this production? Is it different than other productions you've been in, in the past? Is this your first time? I think all productions are different. Um, there's so much that goes into a show and so much variety that the people bring to it to make it a new experience, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Yeah, Elizabeth, what, what should people expect walking in the door? Oh, well, expect the unexpected, um, because we have eight other errors that need to be knocked off in various ways. Um, it's a dark comedy. We have uh, singing ancestral portraits, and we have a skating scene, and just it's, it's a good comedic night out for friends or, or a group of people who are just looking for a date night. Um, it's, it's like nothing you've seen before. Let's put it that way. Okay, we'll take it. If people are interested, when and where is it? Uh, it's at Elmira College, April 5th, 6th, and 7th. And then also... Yeah, and then we take two weeks off and we move to the Clement Center for a bigger production, a larger production on the larger stage for everyone to be involved in there. So first week of April and the last week of April. All right, lots to be involved with. Thank you, ladies, so much for coming in this morning. We'll get all that information for you up on our website at WENY.com after the show. But for now, Crystal, we'll send it back to you.